Here we're going to explain what the quotient rule is all about. Very similar to the product rule, except for what does a quotient mean in math? Well, a quotient is the answer to a division problem. So we're now trying to find the derivative of a rational function. And a rational function means there's x's on the top of a fraction and x's on the bottom of a fraction. So what we can do, rather than call the entire thing one rational function, let's break it up and basically call the top, or the numerator, f of x, and the bottom, or the denominator, g of x. Just like I've broken it out here. So if we call that entire thing the function that we're trying to find the derivative of, there's a nice little rule called the quotient rule. So if we're, if we're finding y prime, the derivative of that rational function, we say uh, f prime of x times g of x minus g prime of x times f of x all over g of x squared. Again, just like the product rule, when you look at it in terms of f's and g's, it can get kind of confusing and it's harder to memorize. I like to memorize the wording, so I've written it right down here. It says, the quotient rule is, the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the derivative of the bottom times the top all over the bottom squared. So that should make a lot more sense. Let's, let's walk through this in red here. So the we've labeled the top uh, piece of the function of the numerator f of x, which means there's some function of x on top, and some function of x on the bottom we've labeled g of x. So I'm calling my top one f of x, bottom one g of x. Let's walk through the wording. Derivative of the top, that's f prime of x, times the bottom. That's just g of x normal, so we just literally copy the bottom. Minus the derivative of the bottom, so g prime of x, that's the derivative of the denominator, times the top, which is just plain f of x, just a line copy, all over the bottom squared. And again, the bottom is g of x squared, and there's no derivative needed for that piece. So if we can remember this wording down here, it gets a lot easier. Let's take an example. Let's say we want to find the derivative of this function here. We can clearly see there's x's on the top and x's on the bottom, so we're going to use the quotient rule. Let's walk through it wording-wise. So the quotient rule says derivative of the top, okay? The derivative of the top is 4 minus 42x to the 5 times the bottom. That's easy. You just copy x plus 5 minus 3 over x minus the derivative of the bottom. Derivative of x is 1, derivative of 5 is 0, derivative of negative 3 over x is plus 3 over x squared times the top. So it's very key as these get more complicated that you remember this wording so that it, you kind of stay in check. So, so far we've done derivative of the top times the bottom minus derivative of the bottom and then we have to times the top as it says here. So that's just the blind copy, 4x minus 7x to the 6. And it says all over, put all of that stuff over the bottom squared. So you literally just copy the bottom bracket and put it to the power of 2. Just like the product rule, there's no need to simplify any of this. If they give you a question um, like, like with a function like this, it's pretty messy. Um, it will simply say uh, find the derivative or find y prime or find dy by dx and do not, it'll actually probably explicitly say, do not simplify. So once again, just like the product rule, I fully recommend memorizing the wording because it's a lot easier than remembering a bunch of G's and F's. Uh, the most important piece with the quotient rule is this minus here. So we have to remember, first of all, that it's a minus sign in between them. And second of all, that because it's a minus, the order actually matters, right? So we have to do derivative of the top times the bottom first um, versus the product rule. It's an addition between the two, so it doesn't matter which order you do it in. Hopefully this is helpful. Uh, you can always send us more questions or more examples on the quotient rule. Info at arnoldtutoring.com. Thanks.